now we are going to discuss about reasons of root cause analysis so there are seven reasons of identifying when there is a gap on the shelf how you have to identify that gap and what could be the reasons of that gap and who to address when the gap is there so first of all so generic root causes and the responsibility who is going to be responsible for that uh, is mentioned here so now we have for example a situation which is out of shelf product so the product is not available on the shelf so there are seven reasons for it seven root causes for it first of all if the product is not delivered second is late delivered so the product has been planned that product will be delivered after 3 days and now the product is delivered after let's say 4 days or 5 days so of course for 2 3 days this particular product would be out of shelf third root cause is about the store ordering for example store is was not able to order that particular product on time or maybe there is a delay in ordering of that particular product from store or the store has not ordered that article and that is causing actually out of shelf situation then is then one of the another reason another root cause is about the shelf or stock management so maybe the because of the stock management situation because of the shelf management situation uh, the stock is not available on the shelf for example the stock is available in the store but not available on the shelf so ultimately this was the result in out of shelf situation then the fifth reason root cause is article suspended if article has been suspended has been blocked uh, by the buyer so of course that will create out of shelf situation if the buyer, because of any reason either it is maybe the discontinuation of that article maybe because of the seasonality of the particular product so that out of shelf situation will be there then sixth is head of his ordering for example uh, if the particular article is uh, been ordered through the buyer from the head of his ordering and buyer was not able to order that particular product or the buyer has ordered but there was delay in ordering or the buyer has not ordered so this will result in out of shelf situation and the last is about the article maintenance so the seventh reason is the buyer is actually maintaining that article maybe maintaining the delivery conditions or maybe maintaining the ordering conditions or maybe delivering updating the contract uh, of the uh, with the supplier so article is in maintenance so ultimately that will also create out of shelf situation so these are the seven root causes which are actually uh, generating creating the gap of the product or out of shelf situation so for example who is going to be responsible if there is an out of shelf quickly so the first part if the products are not delivered or the products are late delivered immediately you have to consult supply chain department so supply chain management supply chain manager is responsible to do to take up immediately this kind of matter and to solve this if it is about the store ordering if it is about the shelf management or stock management or if it is about the article suspended then immediately you have to talk to operations so responsible person in this case would be the floor manager or the department manager into the store who is responsible for this category or for this floor then if it is about the head office ordering or article maintenance of course this is from the head office so immediately the responsible person would be the buyer of the category or the buying manager of the category so you have to talk to that so now we have the seven root causes and now we have also the persons or departments who are responsible for it in order to quickly uh, take out um, take out the retail store from this out of shelf situation so what are the key kpis or what is the kpi in uh, on the shelf availability on shelf availability is the shelf availability rate so the target of the retail store is to increase the shelf availability rate to make it 90% 95% 98% and of course 100% that should be the target of the retail store so in our customer driven organization the it is normally the objective of a retail store that shelf availability rate is one of the most important kpis along with the cost so for measuring the supply chain performance for measuring the operations performance for measuring the buying performance so in all for all the key stakeholders the shelf availability rate is the key so it is monitored 
on store level it is monitored at article level it is monitored on sq level it is monitored on category level it is monitored on department level and of course it is monitored on country level and there are particular targets associated to it so every retail store will have a target of shelf availability rate of course that is closer to 100% or 100% but ultimately if the store is at 87% or 88% the target is to increase the improve the shelf availability availability rate quickly and immediately so one of the key kpis of the retail store of the operations team of the supply chain team of the buying team is to improve the shelf availability rate and that is actually the key objective if the products are available on the shelf of course will bring more business for the retailer